what I'm loving lately? I am loving the chill art videos where we just simply hang out together and like doodle. Something simple. We grab some markers. We grab some pens. So why did not the marker come with that? We grab our sketchbooks. We get whatever supplies we're craving in the moment. And we just have a little impromptu art session together. Low pressure, no pressure. That's what we're doing today. Welcome to filling a spread in my sketchbook. I think we're just gonna turn this into a little series cause it's just like what we've been doing lately. Mm. I think we are getting close to filling this one. Kind of sad, actually. I was really enjoying it. <laughs> but you know, that's what happens when you have fun. Okay, here's a nice little spread. What are we gonna do today? Let's think about it. Hmm, let's get my pencil case. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have new pencil cases in my shop. These are called Into the Forest pencil cases. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that for the last couple years, I have struggled to fit my art supplies into an art bag. A little travel bag like this, you know. Half the time, I just carry two of them with me because I can't fit everything and it's a bummer. But I was over that, so I decided to design my own bag. And it fits travel watercolor palettes. It fits Tombow markers. Let me open it up and just show you. There's so much stuff inside of here. I have washi tapes, tons of Tombow markers, little illustration boards just for fun. I keep meaning to use these. Maybe we'll do a video with that sometime. <laughs> tons of little watercolor brushes. I have a little watercolor palette in here. I usually actually carry a couple little watercolor palettes in here. And yeah, just like tons and tons of other stuff. I mean like, this is the most spacious art bag I've ever had. So I decided, you know what, this is gonna be a fully lined bag. It says Mira Byler right here. Got a little zipper to match the design on the outside. It feels like you're going on a picnic in the forest. Anyway. If you want one, they will be linked at mirabyler.com. Let's get on with the video and make some art now with things that are coincidentally in this bag because we're gonna use it. Okay, I think I want to do like a cute little creature. I'm feeling like creature stuff today. You ever just feel that way? I did a cat a while back that had like multiple eyes. I kind of want to relive that experience and see if my style changes. There's one of the eyes. Oh my goodness, you know what I should do. <laughs> the last time I drew a cat with a bunch of eyes, I made it into a sticker and it said, be weird. This one, I could totally turn it into a sticker that says, see the good. <laughs> Cause there's like so many eyes to see the good in the world. This might end up being like really creepy. I have no idea. I feel like we need to change some things. Hmm. <laughs> it's the mouth. I kind of feel like it needs to have like a sad mouth-ish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just roll with this, see what happens. We have a little cat with some plants. I wanna go for like cutesy, soft color aesthetic with this doodle. I need to put some ink in this marker. I'm gonna do blush like all over the place. I think that would be fun since there's a lot of eyes, like blush in a lot of places. <laughs> what does iridescent mauve look like? Maybe some purple eyes. This looks so elegant, but weird. Light prawn. This is a new color that I just got and I would love to, oh my goodness. Beautiful. I think, Natural lipstick would be a great nose color. And then we're gonna take this color back up into the ears. What is like the thing you usually draw? And then, I don't know, if you ever feel tired of like drawing that thing or you need a break, what's the weird thing you go to? I feel like mine is eyes for sure. Like in a recent sketchbook video that we did together, I drew this really weird eye illustration. And then I turned it into a sticker cause I was like, hey, <laughs> this is kind of fun. But yeah, I just feel like eyes are really relaxing and low pressure. So I tend to go to those when I just wanna do something different. <laughs> 
okay, this is really weird and I'm loving it. I think I'm gonna switch over to some colored pencils now for the rest of this cat. Anyway, we'll hop around. We'll probably use a bunch of different supplies in this video. If you want me to be honest, I don't even know what this plant is. I just made it up. It feels so good to just do this kind of stuff from time to time. I think right now I'm still like winding down from my really big painting collection that I had worked on since November. So right now I'm just in a very doodly mood. It feels very freeing. I'm gearing up for some other big projects that I am like so excited to do. But right now I'm enjoying this moment. Okay, we need to do like some sort of darker blush, you know, make this stand out. Okay, this purple is really elevating the design. I'm here for this. I might have to make this one into a sticker. Just so cute. Okay, the blush, mm, it needs to be more red. <laughs> Press very lightly though. Okay, I think that one is done. Maybe a little bit more green. Maybe a little bit. It's so hard for me to say goodbye sometimes. <laughs> See, this is the kind of doodling that is just so enjoyable, like very low pressure. I had no plan going into that and like now we have this cat. Let's brainstorm something else. I think we're gonna fill the entire like two page spread here and just kind of roll with whatever happens. Like a bunch of doodles on a page. Hmm, this greenish gray color, I, I would like to use it. Okay, I just need the basic shape of a moth right now. So I'm just gonna use Pixabay. It's like a royalty-free photo site. I've probably told you about it before. Not sponsored at all. It's just a cool way to get reference photos. So sometimes if I need to like see the shape of something or whatever, I'll come on here. Okay, good enough. That's all I needed it for. Let's take this eraser, just lighten up that sketch. I'm gonna take this marker. Ooh, such a pretty color. Okay, sharpen my pencil. You know what? I just got a really fun idea for this. First, I need some coffee. I'm sure like light coming in through the window is like a no-no for video filming, but guess what? I'm really digging it. <laughs> I hope that this video, just like goofing off and doodling encourages you to not take yourself so seriously when you try to create. I read so many comments about just perfectionism and struggling with putting art out there, even in your sketchbook, for just you to enjoy. Cause it's like, sometimes it can be scary. And so, first of all, I just wanna validate you if you do feel that way, like you are not alone and it can be really easy to feel that. And another thing, I just, I hope that you watching somebody, a random stranger, me on the internet, just doodle and goof off in their sketchbook and make mistakes and stuff. I hope it helps you feel more comfortable and just like, it's okay to make imperfect things. So yeah, if, there, if there's anything you get from this video, I do hope it is that. And while we're on the topic of positive things, what's something good that happened to you this week? Me, I was walking inside my house. Mind you, it is the middle of February. And for some reason, pansies are growing in my flower bed. And I honestly, I have no idea what in the world happened. Like, no idea. It's like not a typical thing to be growing <laughs> at this time of year. So I was like really, honestly, pleasantly surprised when I saw that. I thought it would be really fun to do plants like this along, oh, this is so fun. Okay, we're gonna just color in all these leaves now. 
But anyway, yeah, plants along the wings like this. Now, I should do like some plant on the bottom too. I'm kind of feeling something like whimsical. Maybe some little berries. Ooh, yeah, I like this. Like how fun, that only took a marker and a colored pencil. So relaxing. Ooh, you know what, I'm gonna just touch something up though, like that. What if we do some fun, oh, I don't know, I don't know. We're just goofing off here, right? I'm just gonna erase these wings, cause that was just not it. That's more like it, I feel. So I'm gonna go like that. Hold on, there's a moth that I drew a while back that I'm kind of aiming for. Okay. I kind of want to do like another iteration of that moth, but maybe a little different. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I want to do this one like really bright and springy and like folky, something like that. Now I'm just gonna lighten it up. Hmm, it's okay, it's okay. As long as it doesn't ruin that. I'll just use this swatch page. There we go. That's what I was feeling. <laughs> oh, this is just a really good time. That is fun. I want to mess around with this design some more because I feel like I could definitely do other iterations of this. I definitely want to digitize this one and see how it turns out. Right now I think it looks pretty cool. I'm just drawing random leaves in this little blue section. Okay, so we still have a lot of space to fill. I feel like a little bit of yellow on the page makes it feel happier. I'm drawing a very worried eye because a couple weeks ago it snowed and I decided to take the twins out to feel the snow and everything and my son was not having it. It was like a very worrisome experience. So I took a picture of them experiencing the snow and then we went right back inside. <laughs> These spreads are fun because drawing like everything or anything random that comes to mind and like spitting it out on a page like this is oddly relaxing and highly recommend. I don't even know, it's just so cute. It reminds me of M&Ms, like their little characters. I'm gonna do some little rosy cheeks. Something needs, maybe it needs like some hair. I don't know, like that. <laughs> I'm gonna take this lime green color. Oh, it definitely also looks yellow. Little bird, cause you know, I really like plain wingspan. Gotta include that. Honestly, I'm just having fun like putting blobs of color down now. Like I have no rhyme or reason to this, but it is just peaceful. 
I didn't really intend to use these acrylic paint markers this much, but I really enjoy them. <laughs> All right, well, here's my weird sketchbook spread. Ooh, wait, I wanna take this bright orange. Okay, well, here's my weird sketchbook spread that I had so much fun making. This all feels like stuff that I don't typically like paint, but I like to draw this kind of stuff. And it just feels good to be getting back into my sketchbook a little bit more this year. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos where I do this sort of thing and just doodle in my sketchbook with you folks, let me know, because I definitely might do this some more. I don't know why it just sounds so fun lately, but here we are. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Have a lovely day. Bye.